What's going down, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Holmes Hobbies Motor Control. It's your boy Josh, aka Coleman. You already know. Man, today uh, I'm just hanging out at the workbench, uh, trying to keep it quiet because my little man's sleeping. I don't want to wake him up. I got the door cracked so I can hear him. But the thing is, I know if I get too loud, he'll be able to hear me, especially if he hears me talking. He'll think somebody's here. So, got to keep it quiet. That being said, um,. We're gonna work on the Grape Ape, on the uh, little marathon that we did last week. Shout out to everybody that uh, watched all those videos, by the way. I wound up actually, I think, breaking the Grape Ape finally. I'm not sure if it's broken or if I just knocked a wire loose or what, but we're gonna inspect today. So, nothing crazy. After that long week of videos, we're gonna kinda start off a little easy today. <laughs> and uh, we're just gonna do a little inspecting on this vehicle and see if we have a problem with any of our equipment or if it's just something minor like maybe a loose connection somewhere. So, uh, let's take a look. Alright, so one of the things that's kind of suspect here is the fact that I'm still using this old AX3 radio. And uh, if I remember right, this is what came with this Wraith. And it's just, it's always worked. I, this thing doesn't have winches or anything that requires extra channels, so I've just always used it. It's always been fine. It um, doesn't have any issues usually, so. But I'm kind of feeling like maybe that's something that's suspect right now. Um, well, let's just plug it in. I'll show you what happens, so. We'll flick this on first. Boom, radio's on. Go down here, you can see the uh, cords to plug this in are up under here. Let me get this plugged in. I doubt I can do this one handed. Oh, you did. I did it. And that's what it does. We've got servo power. The guy's working. But we do not have any form of throttle. And it sounds like something's just not plugged in. Oh no, let's take a look at the ESC. Here's a clear shot of the ESC. It is flashing what appears to be green, orange, and red like crazy. So I think I'd have to uh, look it up real quick to take a peek, see exactly what that means. But I have a feeling it means there's no signal to the ESC, but I could be wrong. Maybe I just knocked it loose. Maybe it just came unplugged in the receiver box because it was a pretty big hit i mean and let's see if i still have it all included in the video but yeah i pretty much came flying off of the rocks and hit another rock with i believe this wheel or with the axle or something just really hard so I mean, I didn't think it was that hard, but it's pretty hard, so, I don't know. Let's figure it out. Now, in the Wraith here, 
when I pop the hood, basically I have like kind of what's meant to look like a, a diesel engine in this thing. Um, I don't know why, it's just something I had laying around and I thought it looked kind of cool, so I did it. And then here is the receiver box I actually have at an angle, which kind of disappears back behind this mess over here a little bit. Um, you can still see it, but yeah. So that's how I've got this set up. Um, over here is the servo for the steering wheel, and yeah. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. But the thing is, to get to it, this is, uh, I got tired of taking these screws out for this, so um, I just left the screws out and it's just kind of wedged in place. And look, this is what I do. I can pop it loose, it's on these. So I bring it all the way over. And voila, now it's out of the way. I have access to everything here. And what I need to do is remove this one screw right here, which will actually loosen up the whole thing. That one screw goes all the way down into the chassis and basically like locks it into the chassis right there. And that's it, and it holds it nice and stiff. So I'll remove that one screw, then I can slide this thing out and pull the other screws out. So huh, let's get it done. Now here you guys can see I've got the uh, box loose. All I did was loosen that one screw up enough to come out and you can see where everything runs into it here. Just the uh, factory receiver box. Um, nothing flashy on this thing. It gets a beat on a lot, but let's, uh, let's figure this out. Before I take all this apart, let's just look for loose connections. Um, I'm pretty sure everything is gonna be good, but let's just double check the outside. Yeah, I just want to plug it in one more time and see if it's still doing it. If it is the loose connection, maybe I've bumped it on accident. Still nothing, so we're gonna go ahead and just pull this receiver box apart. And there it is, if you look close, it looks like one of these wires is barely plugged in there. Looks like that middle one is backed way out. How much you want to bet that's it, that's channel two, if I remember right, that's the, that's the channel. Let's see if that makes a difference, just plugging that in all the way like that. Turn this on. That was it. Well, that turned out to be a lot easier than I thought. I'm gonna go ahead and get this buttoned up and just kind of call it a day, I guess. Um, like I said, I knew this was gonna be kind of an easy video, kind of a slow video, just getting it started. Plus, I did, you know, I don't want to get too wild and have my son wake up and then ruin the video for the day so that being said <laughs> let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and call it thank you guys so much for watching you already know what it is peace chicken grease fam